Nolan, thank you. KETK News is your local election headquarters. Early voting for municipal elections started today. On the ballot, important races for school districts and city leadership. Positions on the ballot include mayor, city council, and local propositions. Ahead of this very important election cycle, KETK's Avery Klodowski tells us what you need to know your vote is your voice. Monday is the start of early voting for May's municipal election. It impacts your life oftentimes more than state and federal elections do. Cities like Longview, Lindale, and ARP will be electing a mayor. The volunteer folks that are going to set the objective for the city moving forward, approve budget, pass laws, the council really matters. City council spots and propositions are also on the ballot. But every year we see relatively small turnout. One of the few early voters out on Monday was Petra Hawkins, candidate for Tyler City Council District 2. She explains what a seat on the council means. It's approving the budget, working with police and fire and 911. There's a lot of things that city council does that people need to realize and that it's a very important seat. Hawkins is facing Dexter Floyd and Stephen Dinger to represent a portion of West Tyler. Elections officials encourage voters to do their research. Research. But for the city of Longview, there's three elections that voters uh, may get to weigh in on. So we have a citywide election for mayor, and then there are two elections for specific council members for our council member from District 1 and our council member for District 2. Some cities like Kilgore, Sulphur Springs, and West Rusk will have millions of dollars in school district bonds and board member races to vote on. When you can early vote and where you early vote, might be different based on where you live. Early voting is open until April 30th. Avery Klanowski, KETK News.